Good day, traders. This is Richard. Today is Monday, Memorial Day, May 27th, 2024, at 4 a.m. Pacific. We're looking at crude oil. We're looking at an hour a daily chart. You can see that crude oil has uh, three ABCDs, all pointed down lower after reaching a top up here around the 15th of April. There's the 15th right here. And that's this high right here. You can see it by pressing your center wheel down and looking at the date and then looking at the price when it was 84, 86, 66 high. And then we came down to 80, went back up to 84, came back down to 76 and then back up to 80 and then down to 76 and back up to 78. Now we're heading down to 74 and possibly 72 a little bit later. We're right here at the turning point now on the daily. Now let's look at a smaller time frame and then we'll look at a larger time frame. Now here's the smaller time frame. Here's that 80 on a four hour chart. And here's that 77 rounded. And now price got all the way back up to 78 and a half. And then down here to 76 and uh, 15. And then it got up to 78 and a quarter. And now it's prepared. It's topping out here, maybe. And we see a swing down to 75 and a little bit lower to 75.40, 75, 75, and then 75.40. So if we get a higher high than this high here over the next few hours or day, then that will change and we'll probably start going up. But if we don't get higher than this, 78.66 here, we're going to probably go down. Now this candle is still alive. And this is a four hour candle, which will end at 6 a.m. And right now it's 4 a.m. So if this candle doesn't start a topping tail, it may go on up and make a new high. We're pretty close. This one's 78 and a quarter, and that one's 78 and three, uh, two thirds. So let's see what happens. Now let's look at a little uh, smaller time frame. And that was the uh, four hour. Now we'll look at it on a 60 minute. And let's start over here where we had our high, the same way we did it on the daily. We're down to the 60 minute and here's the high. Let's make sure that's the highest high in the neighborhood. Well, there's another one over here, quite a bit higher. Well, let's go back a little further. And we had a high up here at 86.62. And this one is about the same price, 86.66. That's the higher price. Did I say that was 62? Okay, that one is at 6.48. I moved it over. It's uh, 48. 44.50. That's 85.95. Okay, now we'll go over here to this one. And that's the high. Let's see what that high. That's 66. So now let's draw an ABCD from that high down here to this low. I think that's the low. And draw it back up. And we're going to have to start over on that. Let's uh, see if I can just get rid of it and start over. So I draw from here down to that low. And then up to this high. Now let's see if I've got that on the right post or the right candle. That high up there is um, 84 even. Get rid of that. Now I'm going to turn on this snap function if it's not already on. I'm not sure yet. It's not on, so I'm going to put it on. So we can snap right on to the high without being, without wondering whether we're on it or not. Now it's snapped on there. And we're pointed down to this low down here where price got to, okay? And now we're going to draw 
from that high down to this low and up to this high. And that's a higher high right there. So we're going to go over there. And now we've got an 80 up there and a 72 and two thirds down here. Now we're going to draw another one from that high down to this low up to this high. Now we're going to spread it out so we can see it better. And I'm going to drag it over here and see there's a little higher high right there. That's where price is right now. Let's spread this out. Now we have a little black candle on a 60-minute chart. That's a sign to sell. And the target is clear down here, way over here at 75, 74 and a half. And this is three and a half points higher at 78 and a quarter. Now uh, this got a little bit off, so I'm going to try to pull it back. There, now they're kind of connected. And now I'm going to hit this arrow and hit that box and bring it back down to see what it looks at. Now I'm going to hit this F here and kind of reorganize the candles to fit in the tall chart. Now we're going to look here at the 15 minute. And I see a gap right here. I don't know whether that's good or not. So I'm going to reload historical data. It's loading, no loading. Now it's done loading. And you can see there wasn't a fake gap in there. Now, now we don't have to worry about it being a fake anymore. We know that it's up there. Now I'm going to get rid of this indicator so my candlesticks will fill out the, the way I, they should. Now if we go back here for two or three days, we're going to find another high, a higher high. So we're going to draw our a, B, C, D from here all the way down to there and up to there. Now we're going to turn on that snap function once more. Turn it on here. And then snap it on up here. There it snapped up there. And it's a little bit off there, so we're going to snap it on that low. We'll snap this one on that high. And now we've got that one there. And that's just the start of a cell signal. So now we're going to sell it. We're going to turn on our chart trader with this little uh, symbol here. Now we've got the chart trader over here. Widen it up a little bit so we can see it. All right. Now we're going to we're going to start off on the simulator, and then we're going to go to live. Maybe it is a holiday, and I know that it's not going to trade all day, but it's trading now. So we're going to try to sell it right in here. That new candle, we just got a new candle, so we're going to sell it now. Order submitted. Order filled. And, and our stop is going to be one tick above this high. Oh, I believe it's going to go down, so I'm going to put the live trade on. Order, order filled. Now, it doesn't care whether there's going to be a holiday a day or not. I've got it. I've got it one tick higher than that high of those two candles there. Let's find out what their price, their high was. There's two candles side by side. That might be a double top. It might not. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, the high is 78.27 on that one. The high on this one here is 78.28, 78 That's 27, and this is 28. So that's the higher high. Let's move it over to there. Now, put it up there on the high. It's a little above the high. Okay, now I've got that one on the high. And the high is 28. I've got this one on 28. I want it one tick higher. That's 30. On 29. Good. 29. Because this one is 78, 28. So now, I'm 10 ticks at 10. $10 a head, which is a, a tick, one tick a head. And so this is down here, and I got in right in there at, at 20. So I'm, I can endure a trade against me all the way up to 28. That's $80. I'm risking $80 to 
gain something like this. Let's spread this out a little more so we can see the bottom of it. And we want to be able to see the top of it. I'm going to move the whole thing up here a little bit so we can see the whole thing. Now that's the higher high at 78.66 and this one is at 78.28. We know it's bearish because we have a higher high on the left and a lower high on the right. So now they're getting handing over the baton. The buyers are handing over the baton to the sellers and the sellers are going to take control. I say going to take control. A little bit of latitude there. I'm, I'm not certain they're going to be in control, but I'm reasonably confident, sufficiently confident to put my money on the line that that's what's going to happen. It appears that's what's going to happen. So now I'm going to draw in a, a fib. I'm going to start the fib down here at this low, and I'm going to put it right up here on 100 or 0, right there on 28. So I think it's going to come down to the 38%, and that's down here at 77, 47, and price is here at uh, 78.19. So we're gonna come down from 78.19 to 77.47, and that's 38.2% move from up here down to here. And if it came all the way down to here, we'd be at 76. 96 or right around 77 and it could get all the way down to 78 so we're we, we're, we're super confident we'll get to 38 now i could put two or three more contracts on here and put targets down here at one target leave one target here put another target down here at 61.8 at 76.96 and another target at 78.60 and we could see if it, it all came true. Now I might do that over here on the simulator. So I'm going to put another one on here. Order, order filled. I want to put this one down here on the 61.8. And I'm going to put this one down here on the 38.2. And then I'm going to put another one on here. Or order filled. I need to separate this. Put this down here on the 78.6. Now the stops can be the same because I want to stop at the same place on all three of these instruments, but I'm going to give one, one tick more. I'm going to give two of them two ticks more just in case. Now, right now I'm negative one tick. So it's, this is the hairy part. We'll see what happens. Now these are, this is a simulation trade. It doesn't cost me any money. And now I'm going to go back and look at the live trade. I'm twenty. I'm twenty dollars ahead here, and uh, over here, I'm fifty dollars. Well, at fifty dollars on that. Let's see what I am live. I'm still break even on the real money. Now these are all on the simulator. Now they're the same. So each chart has the chart trader on. Okay. Now here, here we are with real money. We only have ten dollars. So I'm. I'm risking a minimum minimal amount of money. This is the least amount of money I can risk. One contract, and it's working for me. And I could probably put on all three contracts if I want to. But I'm very prudent, and I try to avoid getting greedy. You get greedy, and you what? You make mistakes, and you wish you hadn't done that. On a target way down here, I probably need to move this target up here is 77. So it's uh, getting ready to work its way down and it, it's, it seems to be working. And there I got another 10 bucks. Of course, over here, I got 70 bucks maybe, 110 total. So this is the way we trade. Keep in mind, I'm gonna say this again, it's very important. With real money, I'm very conservative. I'm gonna take a little bit of money. I'm gonna risk a little bit of money. and. Now that we've gotten down here and we've got $20, I believe we're on the way. And so I could tighten my stop. So I'm going to tighten my stop. When I get about $70 or $80, maybe $100, I'm going to move my stop down to right here where that line is. 
at 21. See, we just started back up again. So it's still doing its dance. It's not finished convincing us that it really does want to slide down the pole. I'm going to split, I'm going to spread it out a little bit more. And when this gets to be 50 or $70, I'll start moving this stop down. But until I get, you know, 80 or $100 to the good, I'm going to leave it like this because it may breathe and may go up and do a double top up here, but not take out the high. If it doesn't take out the high, then we're in a good trade and it's going to go down. It might take three or four hours for it to get down to um, all three of these targets, but it should get to the first target within the hour, hour, hour and a half. So this is a very tedious trading day because it's a holiday. So I'm going to tighten my stock now and try to keep $10 instead of paying it still iffy about what it wants to do. So if it goes up against me, now it's going to take me out. Stop filled. Okay, I got stopped. Break even. However, it cost me probably $6. I, uh, let's take a look at the other tool that we have and see what it costs. I'm going to turn it on to the accounts here. That's the simulator. And here's the account I took the trade in. So it didn't cost me any money because I, I, I earned $10. It's not reflecting the difference between $10 and the cost of the trade for some reason. Not right now. It may later today, but it's not doing it now. But it's about 6 bucks. That concludes my discussion on taking a trade on a holiday, managing a trade on a holiday, and letting my trade exit without any loss on a holiday. I didn't make any money, but I didn't lose any money, and I, I perhaps taught you a few things about trading that you need to know. Richard Rube, signing off. Thank you for your attention. You can reach me, just write Zoom Room Radio at Gmail, Dot com and you'll get to us. If you'd like to learn more about this, we provide education and training. The education is the beginning and the training is the continuing to perfect your craft in order to take a little bit of money from the market each period, each hour, each day, each week, each month. That's your goal is to take a little bit of money without getting too greedy or too lazy or too inattentive. You have to be attentive. You have to watch your baby. Every time you put a trade on, it's like having a little baby crawling around your living room floor. The baby's been fed and the baby is learning how to crawl and eventually it'll begin to walk. And you, you are that baby, and you are the father of that baby. So as the father, you're watching the baby, protecting the baby, and making sure the baby eats regularly, gets changed regularly, and, and, and learns a little bit about the baby's environment. You learn the little things the baby does so you can anticipate its needs. If it needs to be put down to sleep, that's a stop. Or it reached a target, that's an exit. The stop and the target are both exits.